Now, what I want to take a peek at is perhaps why young men, why young women become sexually active uh, at, at the age of 13, 14, 15 years of age. What are the factors that make them sexually active? And what are a half dozen things that you as a parent can do to help them remain chaste or return to a lifestyle of chastity? Now, first, a distinction between abstinence and chastity. Uh, abstinence is a very negative word. I recommend that you don't stress that that much with your sons and daughters. Abstinence means no sex. Uh, so if you told me Bill was abstinent, uh, I'd say, well, great. Well, maybe, you know, maybe Bill's a real virtuous guy and he's waiting for his bride. Or maybe Bill can't find a date. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe Bill's been dead since 1835. You have, <laughs> you've got abstinence in every single case. Uh, chastity's a little bit different. Well, abstinence is what's not happening with your body, with your sexuality. Chastity is what you are doing with your sexuality. And with an unmarried person, that does mean abstinence and waiting till marriage. But chastity as a virtue is using the, uh, the gift of our sexuality according to God's plan and having reverence for that and having the strength to, to look at another person as a person to be loved and never, ever an object to be used. And so while abstinence ends in marriage, chastity holds them together. And the teens, sure, they want to know how to uh, and avoid infections and things like that, but there's something they want to know much deeper. How do I love a woman? How do I love a guy? You know, my parents or my brother, my sister, they got a divorce. I'm, a fr I'm scared to death to get married. And we need to give them the principles that can give them the confidence to turn this country around. And they're so ready to hear it because they want real love. And so I don't use scare tactics. I don't s stand up there for an hour and show graphic slide presentations and try to scare the pants off them or scare the pants back onto them, if that be the case. It's, um, it's not the approach that I take. I think we need to motivate them by something deeper. Because if you think of the virtues that you have, if you're a good listener, if you're humble, if you're prayerful, it's not because you're afraid of the opposite, but because of the sake of love. Love for your God, love for your bride, love for your children. That's where virtue comes from, is love. And so our plan is to instill these virtues and these characteristics in, inside your sons and daughters, not by scaring the heck out of them, but by telling them there's a better kind of love out there. And they all know it deep within their heart. Now, I think high school